to talk really briefly about something that I heard the other day. I heard a Christian, and I'm not going to mention his name because I don't really mention people's names in my videos anymore because I don't like the accusation that I sick my trolls on everybody. See, when I call someone an idiot, my fan base goes to their webpage and calls them idiots because they deserve to be called idiots because they are, in fact, idiots. But when that happens, I get all these accusations of trolling, and you sick your trolls on me, and boo-hoo, and blah, blah, blah. And the only time I can actually mention anyone's name is if they're a YouTuber who's even bigger than me, like Sir Ray William Johnson. Hi guys, welcome to Origin. So the drones issue has taken, obviously, a particularly interesting turn here. First of all, let's lay the groundwork. Um, I have been a particularly vocal opponent of Onage drones. It's been that way for about a year now. And this video has confirmed a couple of thoughts that I've had concerning TJ's most recent Onage videos. Starting off with his video to Nuclear Knight, he didn't mention Nuclear Knight's name. Now in the next video, which was, I believe, Conservative Fail Ponage, he even blurred out the guy's face. And in both instances, those drones still found those channels. Now, in the first case with Nuclear Knight, many of us weren't much help, including me. People who identified Nuclear Knight in our own videos. And no doubt the drones may have found Nuclear Knight through some of us. And it didn't help in the second case when the conservative in question, his video appeared in the related videos to TJ's video. And now we're at the point where there aren't any video clips used at all and there is no name mentioned. But this shouldn't have to be the case. Yes, TJ does have over 100,000 subs, but that shouldn't exclude him from being able to mention other people in his videos. Now, I saw some of these accusations in my video, what do you want? Let's just be clear on what blame there is and where it lies. First of all, Let's just take the TJ Nuclear Knight situation as an example. First of all, Nuclear Knight's at fault for expressing her opinion in the first place because, of course, you have to be prepared for someone... someone responding to you, someone who disagrees with you. And they might not be civil. They might well have a vast audience. So every time you express your opinion, you have to be prepared for something like that to happen. So... Nuclear Knight is one person to blame. Now, second person to blame is, of course, as was accused, TJ, for making the video and opening the door for that vast audience to attack Nuclear Knight's channel. But th those two areas of blame are, I think, insignificant when it comes to the third area of blame, which is the audience themselves, the trolls, the drones, whatever you want to call them, everyone who posts such a comment on her channel, on her videos. They're who are really to blame. And that's what this video is about. I'm declaring war on Onage drones once and for all. Now, of course, TJ does have a vast audience, and people will think that that means he has to have a certain kind of responsibility for that audience. But at the same time, he's just like any one of us. He has every right to express his opinion about another user, just like any one of us would. The only difference is, when he does it, a lot more people go and attack the other person's channel. But it happens to quite a lot of us. It, hap it happened to Coughlin with the Coughlin fans. It happened to Thunderfoot. You know, this use your imagination, anyone with a lot of subs is going to happen to, even... You know, even people with not so many subs, they're, you're still going to get one or two, or however many people, possibly going over there and leaving a couple of comments as well. But the people who leave the comments are the problem, not the people who make the videos and open the door for those people to go and leave the comments. So, to address TJ, I know you're busy with your own channel, and still, as well, I know you're sub to me, I don't know if you're going to see this video, but if you do, I just want to let you know that I, for one, don't think you're at fault here. You should be able to openly mention anyone you want in your videos, just like any of us would, without this happening. 
And to anyone who might think that what I'm saying right now is hypocritical when you compare it with something I said about a year ago, I'm defending TJ's right to express his opinion without all these accusations being made against him. How he expresses that opinion is completely irrelevant to this discussion. So this is roughly how my war is going to pan out. Hopefully TJ is going to reconsider this issue and he is going to start mentioning people again. If not, you know, it's up to him. But if he does, and the drones do attack as before, I will openly chastise them each and every time. I will post it as a response to whichever video is being attacked, and I'll openly call them out. I'll even see, you know, I'll, e I'll even own a few of them myself. In addition to that, I'm going to continue my For Ownage Drone series and my Ownage Tangent series. I think that's everything. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.